What's up guys, happy new year, 2022, first squat session in the Stoke Strength Centre, so we are prepping for Britain's and Arnold's classic, so today we have got squats on the barbell, we're using uh, knee wraps as per the Arnold's guidelines, so I think we're going up to like a heavy triple, doing some triples, um, see how it goes, just get used to the knee wraps I think again. And 100%, it's uh, hard getting back to used to them, so. Yeah. Put them on earlier than usual and see what happens. So hopefully the session goes okay. So let's go and get started. Yeah! The last time we were squatting was Christmas time. I think you've seen us doing about 240 kilos, so now we're really ramping up so we'll be 300 plus today all going to plan quite excited to get back to heavyweights our diets um, are starting to increase quite soon as well let's see what we can do hopefully 300 320 340 I kind of just try and get my hips a little bit warm, that's why I'm squatting down, pushing my knees apart. I think it's called the, is it the Buddha pose? Get my hips nice and ready, and then I do some, try and get my knees over my toes. Uh, just gets my ankles kind of a bit more mobile. Um, I've been having some issues with my ankle mobility. Squat University has actually been giving me some additional stretches to do, um, just to try and get a little bit more mobile. As long as I'm warming up enough on the squat bar, I like to kind of get a bit of a sweat on. Tom and I trained last week and I think we went up a little bit um, too quickly, I think. Um, and we weren't warm, warmed up enough, so when we took a heavier weight, it was more of a, a shock to the system. So you want to just make sure your central nervous system is ready for the big weights. And by doing that, it should be okay, I hope. happens when you don't do the toilet before you squat. <laughs> Bit smelly. What job for lunch? My last two meals I had a baked potato and chilli, so that chilli's probably coming out. And then I had steak burgers, mashed potato and green beans. Sorry Simon. That stinks. <laughs> Use the, the lighter ones to now I think. I don't want to go too, because the competition ones are quite hard. Like, like solid, so. Do the, the, the red ones here, the same as yours, I do. I will let you use your ones, use the, well they're the competition ones, you see, and they're the training ones. Yeah. What have you got? I'm using the training wraps from uh, SPD Storm, 2.5 meters. Not used wraps in a long, long time, so let's see what happens. The weights are getting heavier. We're using these because we've got them in Arnold, so. Take a week, a week. Once they're rolled up, you can actually get them on a little bit tighter, roll them quite tight, and then from the get-go, they're, they're a nice tension straight away. So I'm a funny one with knee wraps, I'm, or knee, knee, uh, knee wraps, yeah, I, I don't like them overly tight, so I remember a few years ago at World's Strongest Man, um, I had them wrapped, someone else wrapped them for me, and, and they were very tight, and it just didn't, didn't go well for me, so it's just getting used to that tension, I think it is. Um, because if it's not something you're used to then you go straight away and doing it too tight in a competition then it can really throw you off so um, again this is what we're trying to do now is just 
build up our preferred tension I guess so we'll start a little bit lighter I'll maybe start 220 today then go up to 260 a little bit tighter then 300 tight and then just kind of build it up from there So we're going to put on our knee wraps now, so we've got SPD wraps, as are Arnold states we can't use our knee sleeves so we've taken them down and the knee wraps will just be going on to the bare skin and yeah, see how that goes, hopefully it'll feel okay, my wrapping technique probably isn't the best but it works for me as I said my technique isn't the best for knee wraps but I'm sure Big Tommy will give you a tutorial on how, so how the world's strongest puts on knee wraps. Oh, you shouldn't put on knee wraps like that, it's wrong. And you're right, it is wrong. But what works for me, works for me. Look at this little fancy one. Whoa, look at that. Pro, pro level status achieved. I might look, I don't know why they're saying I do a tattoo, I don't have a clue how to put wraps on. Last time I put wraps on I failed a 220 squat, so um, yeah, no surrender. What's the first thing, Tommy? You just wrap. And wrap. And wrap. And wrap, I think. And wrap. And tuck. See if I can do the same in this one. This will probably be totally different than my own. It's the wrong sway away. This one's totally wrong. <coughs> oh. You can see these ones are like quite a lot of spring in them. <coughs> so, so these are so our ones like nothing over three meters. They say these are two point five. So these are two point five, but obviously by the stretch, you could probably stretch them out to double the length, um, which then gives you more um, wrap coverage. I guess once it's tighter. Um, that's my my personal preference is the slightly springier knee wraps. Sometimes the cotton ones are better than the training ones as well. Just really depends. I might put the cotton ones on in the last few weeks yeah. when I get really heavy to see what it's like. What's the difference between the normal and the comp? The training ones are like, it looks like this, the cotton ones are stiff. So when you wrap them they're like tight tight so they don't, they don't give as much give. So it feels like your legs are we're done. Right. 
people tell you to rap in a certain way, but I'm just like, look, you know, when you start getting too used to rapping someone else's way, you know, when you're looking at videos to how to do it, it gets in your head. So I mean, I just went in today, wrapped these the way I felt like they were fine. And whereas when I've copied people before, they feel uncomfortable. So that was comfy. So hopefully the next set 270 working set will feel as comfy as well. And then that'll be good. It's out my head that just wrap my legs the way I want to do it. Some people like them extremely tight. Some people like them just as an extra wee bounce. So, you know, everyone's different. So. There's not really a wrong way to do to do raps, it's just your opinion. Jesus, this is disgusting. I don't know, 310, 315 or something, I don't know. Um, I just do like a heavier single to now, just to see how it feels and then keep building up. Um, the knee wraps are feeling a little bit more comfortable this week, which is nice. Um, I think I just keep going from there. I think that was a better shout, like putting them on earlier at like 220 odd and then doing each, each set with them on after and getting progressively tighter. So it's feeling okay to now. So. Not where it should be, but it'll get there. Slowly but surely. Three or five and then a ten on top. Tom? Yeah, much better than I've been going, um, getting used to these wraps. So the 275, 275, 305, maybe a bit high on 305, but it's just getting used to the wraps again. So that will come for it's giving me a bit more confidence now as well, which is good. So yeah, happy, happy, happy. Get used to these bad boys and we'll be rolling. We're rapping. We're rapping, bro. Uh, so that was my squat stand. Felt a lot more comfortable with the uh, knee. Uh, leg wraps on which was good as I said before I usually put my knee sleeves on on top of them um, so it's just feeling I think as Tom says is getting that confidence factor back with them and that felt really good I think up to 275, 295, 315 um, 315 was a little bit high um, 
but that's, it's not a strength thing, it's just a technique thing, just once the, the knee ups become more like second nature, you're used to getting that depth then, so Tom and I will use the knee wraps um, all the way through our prep now, so really happy with it, so that was our kind of big compound lift now. We did have hack squat in our program, but um, my knees feeling, our knees feel a little bit, um, I don't know what you call it, inflamed. We're going to switch it to leg press, I think, for today, um, and just try and get a little bit heavier in the leg press, I think, and see how that feels. Hopefully our knees won't explode. Big Tom was saying that's heavy. It's not it's heavy. It's not heavy. Tom looked like he was half asleep doing that, so we'll chuck in our couple of 25s. Huh? Yeah. Right, wait. Oh, that's heavy. Yeah. Okay, so that was so fun. <laughs> Tom, you okay? This is way better than the other one. Are you dead? Yeah. It's a little bit more secure. Yeah. So guys, that's a leg press done. Uh, we did some <laughs> freaky leg press and some weights and added wee steam on on it after. Yeah, it was nice and heavy, nice and good. We need to get used to the weights again. It's like we're pushing the weights away from us, so it's good to get used to the heavy poundage. Uh, all, all good, all good. Now we're going on to uh, Bulgarian split, split hold isometrics. You just put one foot up here and hold it for 30 seconds. Uh, we're going to do that together, so stay tuned. Right guys, so from the YouTube live, as I promised, a priest, Tom Stoughton, Fat Free, and it's a uh, seals have free eyes. Yeah, one of the last exercises today is calf raises. We're looking just to get a bit of blood in our calves at the moment because, um, well obviously we've trained heavy squat, leg press, isometric holds, and then just at the end, it's just body weight calf raises. Um, 
it's more than adequate for us. Tom's about 180 kilos, I'm about 165. So um, if we we're calf raising that, our own body weight, it's more than adequate to get a wee pump on um, and get that blood flushing the calf geraceous muscles, which is your calf muscles. That's a fact. Final exercise of the day, um, planks. So we've been throwing a lot more core in um, in the last few weeks. Um, mainly from, from my point of view, I need my core to be a bit stronger for things like yoke. Um, Britain's Strongest Man really fluffed the yoke up, so wasn't very happy with that. So yeah, we're not neglecting our core. Tom just does it because he's World's Strongest Man. That's what World's Strongest Men do. So we've got um, some sets uh, planks and then that's us done for the day so we'll get them done and then go and eat right guys so legs session finished is that a good leg session for myself? Is it alright for you? A lot better this week, thank so, you. So it's just going to keep happening every week now to the Arnolds, but yeah, good session. Good to be back feeling some heavy weight and uh, yeah, happy days. So hot and cold later on like usual then. Friday session, we're going to have Harry training with us, so it's going to be fun. Special thank you for all the people that's buying the new hoodies, the black one, the grey one and the stripy jumper. It means the world to us. We hope last year we've started to leave our legacy. Now it's time to leave yours. Thank you for watching guys. Stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling! -a -ling -a -ling. <laughs>